Look guys, there's finally a bee back in the garden. I haven't seen one in so long. They used to be all over the lavender, but for the last, I don't know, probably three weeks, maybe even four, I have seen no bees in this yard and I've had to hand pollinate all of these cucumbers. He's helping me out. There is one new cucumber that I spotted and he was just on it. So I'm hoping he just fertilized it for me and I don't have to do it. So the reason that they haven't been on the lavender is because it's kind of done. Um, the blooms have dried up, but I have this whole border over here full of stuff that supposedly the bees and the butterflies love. This is Speedwell and I have uh, Russian Sage and I don't know if they really love this. It is Coreopsis and they get on the Coreopsis in the back, but this is a different variety, so I'm not sure. Um, but, and then I also have Oh, it's dwarfed right here. Yarrow, but it hasn't bloomed yet. It's getting close, but that should draw them hopefully back to the yard too.
And back here we have all kinds of goodies for them. I have butterfly bushes there. I have flocks, which those, I think the butterflies tend to like those more so than the bees. Um, and then all of these cosmos and there's some zinnias down in there that just haven't come up yet. Um, they got put out later than the ones in front of the greenhouse. And then dahlias, which will bloom a little bit later. They're more of a fall flower. Um, so won't see any blooms off of those for just a little bit yet. But I do have these zinnias in front of the greenhouse. But again, I think these are more of a butterfly friendly flower. I don't know how many bees I actually ever see on them. So I probably need to look and find more plants that bees like more so than the butterflies because the bees are the ones that are really gonna help with the pollination. The butterflies, I see the occasional butterfly in the yard, but they just aren't so focused. They'll kind of flit around and land on a flower here and there, but I never, ever, ever see them on any of my garden flowers, but the bees I do. So I need more bees in the yard and less butter. Well, I don't need less butterflies, just more bees. <laughs> and there's the hummingbird. Sorry, Mr. Hummingbird, but that feeder I'm getting ready to take down and refill because it rained in it and I'm sure it's all full of water now. Looks like he's getting himself a drink or she. I thought for sure it'd be full of water after all of the storms last night. I guess not.
Just inform me, everybody, that they are doing a pinata over there to my left, y'all's right. Over there, so any kids that want to smack at it, oh, they hit that pinata. They do. It should be a good time. Exciting to see my colors are popular in the stores again. I don't need any of this stuff because I already have everything I need at home, but so many cute options. I really like this one right here. Not as well as what I already have though. I really like this one too, but I definitely don't need another throw and I'm not allowed to buy it anyway. not to buy the pink when I see it. They never have enough green though. Something I do actually need is hand towels. I bought a bunch of bath towels a few months ago to replace the ones that were worn out. These are pretty, but $13 for two, no thank you. For my harlequin bug problem here's something else i'm going to pick up i have one in my wish list on amazon but this one is now on sale for five dollars less and when we go on vacation in august i'm going to need two sprinklers one for the front yard and one for the back so i can set them up with timers and everything will be watered without me being there so i'm gonna go ahead and get it One indicator of a good bee-friendly flower is when you come to the garden center and this is the only plant that they're on. So I think I'm gonna pick up a couple because I desperately need more bees in my garden. More bubble tea. So it is, gosh, three o'clock and I'm finally back home. Um, we ended up, so 
an unplanned project at Michael's house. So he is moving his like computer modem, Wi-Fi router, all of that stuff. Because right now there's like a workbench in his garage right outside of his kitchen door. And it's all connected out there. And the signal in the house is kind of crappy. And so he finally decided to relocate it. And in order to do that, um, he had to run wires up through the floor and then across the back of his cabinet and then into the pantry at the end of his kitchen is where he's going to keep it. Cause he has, so like his stairs go down and then the dead space above the stairs at the end is where that pantry is at. Um, so he decided to move it in there and put it on a shelf. So anyway, while he was doing that, um, he had to empty all of the stuff out of his cabinets and take out the drawers to where he was working in there. And so we ended up sorting through getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And then we went and picked up some drawer organizers and came back and then organized and put everything else back away. So that was not really something we anticipated doing, but we did. And so I finally just now got home. Um, but I thought I would show you the few things that I did pick up. Um, I... If you are new here, I am not allowed to shop for stuff for the house, like home decor items or clothing this year. It's kind of like a spending challenge that I'm doing to just, I don't know, stop that bad habit of, oh, that's cute. I'm going to buy it even though I have no need for it. Um, and honestly, it shocks me that I've ever kind of done that because I am such a purger and this was definitely highlighted. So Michael and I are so much alike in so many ways, but when it comes to purging, I'm just a bad purger. I, I, I'm a good purger, but I am bad about it. Um, I just, I don't want to keep anything. Um, so we were sorting through his stuff and I had to almost like argue with him about a few things. Like really, you need five of those. Um, but yeah, I'm a person that like, for one thing, he had a junk drawer that we went through. I'm a person who does not even have a junk drawer. So if that tells you anything, if it doesn't have a useful purpose, I pitch it in the trash. So there's nothing to stash. Um, and then if it does have a useful purpose, I have a place for it somewhere, whether it's downstairs in my tool storage or in a closet or whatever. So um, yeah, I, I'm always throwing stuff away or just, I don't need that. I'm not buying it to begin with, but for whatever reason with like decor items and stuff, I would find myself every season, oh, I'll buy this. I'll just get rid of something else. And I just, I decided to break that habit. I don't need to do that anymore. I have things that are perfectly useful and just because it's not the current trend doesn't mean I need to get rid of it. So um, I started buying things that were timeless and classic that I don't need to get rid of. And now this year, I'm not allowed to buy anything new. I have everything I need. And when the seasons change, I will change out my stuff with what I already have. But all of that to say, I bought some things that were useful <laughs> while I was out. So just new cleaning towels because I have some microfiber ones and I really don't like them, um, especially for like cleaning the bathroom and stuff. Whenever I wipe the countertop, I feel like all it does is push lint or hair around. It doesn't actually pick it up um, and they've gotten stained up and they're to the point where they just don't like to absorb water. Um, so, and I really like these. Logan had bought some fleece towels for cleaning his truck and I had snagged one and used it for cleaning in the house and I really liked it. So I decided since it's time to get rid of the microfiber towels because they're shot anyway, I'm going to replace them with these. I made a really, really quick stop into Target for a bowl because um, I have this set of bowls and you can just buy them individually pieced, which is really nice because when something happens like what happened with my other bowl, um, it was sitting on my little table outside and a storm blew in and the umbrella was still open and the whole table toppled over and the bowl crashed to the concrete and shattered. So I was able to just go buy a new one to replace that. Wooden spoons is something that I do not have any of. And every time I make bread dough, um, you know, you're supposed to store it with the wooden spoon. And the silicone ones I have, first of all, silicone, it's never 100% silicone. It's always got some plastic in it. So I don't like using plastic first and foremost, but also um, the ones that I have, I'm sure I won't get rid of all of them, um, especially the like pancake turners or whatever but the tops keep popping off now. Um, they're a set that I got from Amazon and they definitely will come apart. So this will replace some of those, but mainly it's just, it gives me a wooden spoon to have for when I'm making dough, bread dough. And then last but not least, a boring old charger because the one that I have in my living room that I use, so it's plugged in and it like comes up over my couch and I use it for when I'm editing videos and stuff in the evenings, I'll have something playing on the TV while I'm editing and it finally quit working. So I just got one to replace it. But the thing I'm most excited about, which is so silly, <laughs> ugh, I got a garment rack because 
I've been wanting a clothesline outside for a while. I hang dry a lot of my stuff in the basement. There's like a pole hanging, but it would be really nice when it's warm and nice out to be able to hang my stuff outside, especially the white stuff so that the sun can help, you know, kind of bleach it, um, get rid of stains, things like that. But I just didn't want to spend the money on a clothesline because, you know, the cheapest thing I could find was something that attaches to like the side of your house and folds out. And it was like $35, $40. But this was nine bucks at Walmart. So I was like, dang, for $9, I can't go wrong with trying that. So I'll put this together and then I can take it outside and hang stuff on it and bring it in and put it back in the basement when I'm done with it. And I'm really not out much. I mean, it's nine bucks. So, but that's it. That's all I picked up while we were out today. Well, other than, you know, I got some produce items that were part of my grocery list and I picked up toilet paper because we're about out of toilet paper. So, you know, just restocking some stuff like that. But that's it. Everything else was all Michael. We got his, you know, like I said, his drawer organizers. He found a couple more shirts and um, I can't remember what else he got, but anyway, we're back. We're done. I'm going to settle in for the evening, put this garment rack together um, and probably do some video editing because I've got enough footage now that I need to put it all together. So I will see you back here most likely in the morning. I have it together and ready to hang clothes. I honestly cannot believe that this was $9. It's pretty darn sturdy and it even has a locking. Well, two of the casters on the end are locking. So not too shabby for nine bucks. Can't wait to hang some clothes on it outside to dry. I just got back with all of these little stepping stones and I am going to install them between here and my garden because just walking, I always take the same path out my door right through here and around to my garden bed. And so my grass is all trampled and it just makes it very easy for weeds to start growing up, which always happens and I end up reseeding it every fall. And so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and install some stepping stones. I will sink them down to where they're just about flush with the ground because they will continue to sink and settle. So I don't want them to like be below the surface, um, but just enough that I can go over the top of them with the lawnmower without hitting them. And that way I have those to step on to get to the garden. And then in August, about mid-August, um, I will go ahead and then reseed the grass. And hopefully next year, we won't have this problem. I'll have a nice good stand of grass and I will never have to trample it again.
Well, that's that for now. I thought I had like three quarters of a bag of sand, but I must have used it on the garden and forgotten about it. So I'm gonna have to make a run to the store. I have one paver to return and then I'm gonna grab a bag of sand. And then I need to fill in around and underneath all of these pavers. Right now they're pretty flush with the ground, but I need to elevate them just a little bit because I need to account for settling because they will definitely settle over the next few months. Um, so just enough that the mower can clear them, but they can still settle as needed. So um, Michael is due to be here in a minute. He's gonna bring me his coffee grinder that I forgot so I can use it to grind the wheat berries I bought yesterday to see if I like doing it that way. That way I can decide whether to buy a grinder and do my own from now on or to buy the organic wheat flour that's already ground. So anyway, he's due to be here to drop that off. So when he's done with that, then I'll run back to Menards, return the paver, grab some sand, and then come back and finish this up. <laughs> 